A new heart pump that's smaller and lighter than its predecessors is now available in Singapore. It's called the Hardware Ventricular Assist Device and promises patients with advanced heart failure a better quality of life while they wait for a transplant. It's also especially suitable for Asian women. The National Heart Centre Singapore receives an average of 23 referrals a year for heart transplant. And while they wait for a match for their heart transplant, about a third of them would first need to implant a device such as a pacemaker. Finding suitable donors for heart transplants in Singapore remains a key challenge. Now the National Heart Centre Singapore performs an average of three heart transplants a year. Now currently there are about 13 patients on the waiting list. A patient can expect to wait up to six months for a heart transplant, while the waiting times for those with a larger body size can take up to two years. Madam Helen Tan is the first patient here to be implanted with a new heart pump. This comes after her heart condition worsened last year, even after being on a pacemaker since 2008. <laughs> Previous generations of heart pumps require a pocket to be created underneath the heart. But the new device, which is the size of a golf ball, does away with this need as it fits right next to the heart. The blood is then pumped through the heart from the left ventricle to the aorta. For Madam Tan, a cable connects the device to an externally worn controller. Uh, the advantage mainly it has over the older generation of pump is that it is smaller in size, only 160 gram. That makes the implantation time much shorter. And also, it, because of small size, it is more suitable for small Asian lady who are not deemed to be suitable for the bigger pump. Without subsidies, patients who opt for this new procedure can expect to fork out some $300,000, which also includes their hospitalization stay.